Hey everyone, my name is Lucien and this is Brian. Uh, come here, come here, puppy. Yeah, so uh, my name is Lucien and I am the newest member of the channel. Uh, go out, buddy. Yeah, so um, and this is my first video and this is probably gonna be a little bit awkward but. Yeah, I'm really trying my best. Hey! So, I am from Brazil and I am a gender and I am 24 and I have a dog, as you may have seen. So, yeah. This week's topic is social transition. Um, social transition basically means uh, changing some things in the way you interact with people um, so that your social self uh, matches your real gender identity. Uh, for example, it can be changing your name, changing your pronouns, uh, changing the way you dress, changing... yeah, changing... Uh, many small things uh, in the way you interact with people so that you can be who you are yay so uh, it has been like a year and a half I know I'm trans and only now I'm undergoing my real social transition um, I'm not really I'm not really out to so many people, I'm out to my girlfriend, to my mom, uh, my trans friends of course, and yeah, only three or four other friends, so it's really few people, but um, that doesn't mean I can't social sh socially transition outside of these circles, um, which is what I'm doing. Because uh, that's something you must have in mind if you are thinking about socially transitioning. Uh, it doesn't have to be a thing you do like in all places at once. You can do uh, some small changes here and not there, like uh, changing things with your friends, for example, but not your family. Uh, and you can you can do it in uh, whatever way you feel comfortable about it and yeah you you're probably just gonna have to find out for yourself yeah but yeah this is uh, the way I am doing things uh, although I am not really out to so many people um, I have started socially transitioning um, by changing uh, the, l the language I use to refer to myself, uh, which has been really important and validating. Um, yeah, because Portuguese, uh, the language I live my everyday life in, um, it is so super gendered. Like every noun has a gender, like a tree has a gender, uh, a box has a gender, uh, a wall has a gender. It really doesn't make sense. And how do they choose gender of stuff? Yeah, it's crazy, but, but that's the way things are and I have to navigate in this somehow. Anyway, um, so first thing I did was changing the language I used to refer to myself. I made it as gender neutral as possible, which can be really hard in this kind of language, um, but I managed to, to uh, build phrases and sentences and everything in a way uh, I almost never have to use, have to use gender. Um, and when I do, uh, I usually switch between male and female because that's the easiest way to do. 
um, yeah, that was the first thing I did. Uh, and the second thing I did, uh, it was recently, uh, I chose a new name for me. Uh, I took a while to do that because I don't really use my name in my everyday life. Everybody, like 90% of people, uh, know me by my gender-neutral nickname. So, it doesn't really make any difference. Uh, but, I chose to change m my name um, because I got back into college and then uh, there would be new people I would be meeting. And in the... Oh, I don't know the name in English, sorry, but that list of students uh, the teacher has, um, I didn't want my birth name to be there. Um, so, yeah, I decided to change my name. Uh, I am very lucky because you can't really do that uh, everywhere in Brazil, but in the city I live, um, there is this thing called like social ID. Um, you you kind of get a second name. It's kind of a like a spy thing somehow. It's like a second ID uh, that hides your birth name, and it doesn't really work everywhere. Uh, but some places like the university I go to. Um, they uh, accept this document so so yeah i have changed my name to lucian and it feels so amazing uh, and it's really good because it's kind of a tryout of your new name and you have the time to feel comfortable about yourself and it has been great uh, i have been using my new name for three months, I think, and so uh, this Friday I'm finally filing my, uh, the process uh, to legally change my name, like uh, there won't be a second ID anymore, just one ID, my birth name will be that, and uh, I'm so super excited, yeah, um, but yeah, the name. Uh, so I'm changing my name. I'm uh, now I am legally changing my name. Like in all places, I'm starting to tell some people, uh, but just because I want to share this with them, not because I really need to, because uh, they will keep referring me uh, by my gender-neutral nickname, which is one of the reasons I chose a. Uh, uh, new name that could, uh, in which I could keep my gender neutral nickname, which is my main identity as a person, like since forever. Um, and yeah, and I think that's basically it. Uh, yeah, yeah, one other, one other topic I could mention uh, is my physical presentation. Uh, which hasn't really suffered that much of a change during time um, because I have like been a gender since forever it's not something new in my life uh, I just found out that it had a name so I have never been like the girly girl uh, throughout my life I have been basically experimenting with feminine and masculine clothes uh, and now I know I am a gender um, I just have a, a clearer view on what I can do and and it's um, it has become kind of a, a funnier uh, kind of a funnier experience overall like I'm painting my nails again it it's something I haven't done for years and now I feel so super comfortable to do that um, but yeah I don't know if that fits the topic 
so yeah we are almost 10 minutes long this video so I think that's it um, changing names changing pronouns um, well you just keep in just keep in mind that uh, you don't have to do everything at once uh, you can try one thing here try another thing there and just just follow your heart and things are gonna happen they they don't have to be like so super fast and so all at once so uh, i hope it wasn't so super awkward and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'm gonna try to be better in my next ones and thank you for watching uh, bye bye yay